today we're going to be going over what does OLL mean, along with a few different methods for it. First of all, the term OLL is an acronym, standing for Orient Last Layer. To orient the last layer of a 3x3, it essentially just means having all the yellow pieces facing up. As you can see, just because the yellow pieces are facing up does not mean that the cube is done. Now, there are a few different methods to get this cube to look like this cube. Today we're going to be going over a beginner's, moderate, and an advanced method for OLL. First off, let's look at the beginner's method. Now when I say beginner's method, I mean that it's going to be the easiest to learn. If you want to get fast times, this might not be the method for you. I've already created a video on this method, and I'll provide a link to that in the description. So, you will only use two algorithms for this method to orient the entire last layer. However, you're going to have to repeat these algorithms a few times. So, you will first use a pretty simple algorithm to orient your edges and build your last layer across. And then, using the soon algorithm, you will then orient your corners. Now, it could take up to three times to do this. My video explains the most efficient way, so that you can always have it in under three tries, but essentially, in only two algorithms, you will be able to orient the last layer. I'll also show it on this one. So there I have my edges oriented. And there you go. As you can see, it's not super efficient, but it does get the job done. For the moderate method that I'm going to show, this isn't the fastest or slowest method, but I think it's a pretty balanced way for people who want to get fast times, but don't have to learn too many algorithms. So you will learn 10 algorithms for this, and in one step you'll orient the edges, and then in another step you'll orient the corners, hence the name 2Look OLL. So for this case, I would do this algorithm to then orient my edges, and then another algorithm to orient the corners. So for this, once again, orient edges in one step, orient corners in another. So this makes it so that in only two steps, you will always be able to orient the last layer. So it's pretty fast, but there's still one faster way. For our advanced method, we'll be looking at one look OLL. This is essentially the same as the last one, but instead of taking one step for edges and one step for corners, we'll be doing all of this in one step. However, this means that you're going to have to memorize 57 algorithms. You might think that it's a little pointless to memorize so many more algorithms for such a small drop, but when you're dealing with fractions of seconds, this could really make the difference. So you would just look at it, and then look at all the pieces instead of just edges or corners. And then in one algorithm, orient the entire last layer. To put these methods to the test, I conducted a little experiment. I used DC timer's function of scrambling only the last layer, and then timed myself using each method. I did an average of five solves using the same five scrambles, and here are my results. Just like a competition average of five, I took the fastest and the slowest outliers and did not include them in the final average. The two look actually fared pretty well if you go by amount of turns, however what you're really sacrificing is having to stop, recognize the next case, and then do that second algorithm. The beginner's method actually wasn't too bad, but that many turns just leaves a pretty large margin of error, so it would be hard to get fast at this one. Looking at the final averages, just as I predicted, beginner's method would be too slow for speed solving and one and two look would be acceptable. However, there's still a big enough gap in between them that makes one look the better method. Of course, OLL isn't all of it. The last step of the 3x3 is PLL. If you want to learn about that, I have a video similar to this one called What is PLL? Also linked in the description. And that about wraps it up. I have videos on all these methods, all linked in the description of this video, so that you can get faster at OLL. I hope this video is helpful to you, and for the future, good luck.